I'm going to look at Baylor and Cincinnati. A couple of disappointments here for sure. Uh, at this point, we're hoping more from these. Hoping for more uh, from these teams. Certainly, definitely a big disappointment here with both teams coming in with a two and four record thus far. Cincinnati, uh, four and two to the over thus far. They've lost uh, four straight now, both straight up and against the spread. For Baylor, right now they are uh, two and four straight up, as I said, but one, four and one against the spread thus far. Now this total... Currently sits at 52, and it's juiced up a little bit here to the over. But this one on the Circa show opened uh, 45 and a half <laughs> and was immediately bet up to 50 and a half. Now, I don't know if that was just another mispricing by these guys. They take such pride like we're that's and that's why I do it on that on that show. Like these guys take pride. Oh, we take the biggest limits, and well, they got slammed on this one pretty good. And uh, look, I mean, I think it could go over. I think there's room to breathe in this total now. I don't know if it's going to go up any higher than this. Let me see. Let me just at least check what we've seen so far in the market move. I mean, that's what I had basing. Uh, this on. In fact, I'm seeing two-way action. Uh, it would seem to me, looking at the percentages here, the betting splits, uh, I don't know if one side's any more sharp than the other. And quite frankly, maybe it's even a little bit too high here. Uh, I don't know if I could give out a premium necessarily, but I like the over in this game. I mean, I, I'm my numbers are right here in the mid 50s. So Eh, maybe it's not premium worthy, and I'm not saying that we missed any value on 45 and a half because that seems like an unrealistic number. And this is definitely the high number at this point, but it seems like it's only going up. Now, I don't know if it's going to go up a lot more, but we don't have any, you know, head to head map, you know, with this being a new, um, a new conference matchup. We don't have any, you know, serious history to go off of here necessarily, but with Cincinnati at home, that's kind of, I think what kind of has me steering in that direction a little bit towards the over uh, just that, you know, Baylor's had obviously some big time questions uh, defensively to a certain extent this season compared to, uh, last year, I mean, just giving up the 40, 39 points to Texas Tech this past, uh, two weeks ago. They're in a they're in off a of, of bye, but remember they lost that game thirty nine to fourteen, and uh, they were in that wild one with UCF that had seventy one points. Now they they had trouble scoring against you know Texas, but who wouldn't? And against Utah, they didn't do very well either. But against Texas State, now Cincinnati's probably better than Texas State, but still kind of a uh, – the, the game against Texas State, the season opener at 73 points. So I'm going to I'm gonna be on the over in this one. Cincinnati just played uh, uh, BYU a couple of weeks, so three weeks ago now. That one had 62 points. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end up being on the over here with Baylor and Cincinnati, and uh, Thomas says uh, they didn't look good in that game, and yeah, no, they didn't. No, they did not. They scored just ten po ten points at home uh, against uh, against Iowa State. But uh, I'm taking I'm taking the over here at 52. That's that's just the way it's going to be. 
They definitely got to turn it around a little bit, though, offensively. All right. Oh, Thomas here says uh, he's on Baylor here, it looks like, actually. And I'm not ready to commit just yet. Um, I like the total. I like the total. And I would say that this is a borderline for me uh, premium. Yeah, has it ended up going maybe a little bit too high here? Yeah, maybe just a little bit. Uh, doesn't necessarily, it wouldn't be a premium necessarily by Saturday, but. But right now, I'll just, I'll take the over. 